knocked ahead by Worcester. Back to the near point on battle with a shot, surprise point, and that scores. That one hit off a deflection and just surprised him. And Albano gets his fifth and it's 1-0 Worcester. And almost surprised Ellis with that high to hop. Alkoski shot the other way and they score. Cole Koski puts it top shelf. His sixth of the year is 2-0 Worcester. And just caught the stick of point off the near post. 20 seconds remain on the power play. Hayhurst, left circle, drags a shot, saved by Point and rolls, and it just gets across the line. Despite the rush back and the fallback, that one had enough juice to get across the line, and the power play tally makes it 3 0. That saved by Point. Comes back, guy, three seconds to McCauley, comes back out. Right wall, carried ahead, gets to the middle, pin ball around, and now Keller looks ahead. He finds Colton McCauley in stride. McCauley on a breakaway, second attempt, scores! Colin McCauley with the nutmeg coming right out of the box. His ninth of the year, the Steelheads are on the board. Back to left point, Johnson whirled down, finds the cry across to Mitchell on the backhand, can't corral it. McBride gets it back, comes out in front to Johnson, he scores! And deflected off the back door by Mason Mitchell, his of the year and it's a one goal game. All these more frequently because of that. Rapachi out to the middle, pinballs off a couple of Bowden, clamps it down, hits a body, goes behind the point and scores. And right in the middle, tapped over point and it's a 4 2 Railers lead. And now for the Sealheads, that's back to back losses and it does break a nine-game point streak at home as they fall 4-2 to two to the Worcester Railers in the first ever franchise meeting.